and again I'll use a hue saturation adjustment as clipping mask and I will desaturate this and let's see colors that you can use you can use this blue I'm not really good at makeup so but usually it's um, good to work with the uh, low opacities so I'll decrease the opacity of the top layer as well you don't want something too saturated or too uh, too strong so I'll decrease the opacity of this one as well and what you can do is put all the makeup inside a group so that way I can show you a before and after and maybe increase the saturation on the bottom one the opacity sorry and I'll go back to the dodge and burn because I want to make the the eyes a bit darker the the eyebrows and the lashes so I'll use a I'll use an exposure of about uh, 13 and just to burn the eyebrows and the lashes the eyelashes like that notice that I'm also burning part of the makeup so that's uh, that makes it a bit darker uh, something like that so you can see without the dodge and burn and with the dodge and burn you know, the eyes stand up a lot more with the dodge with the dodge tool you can also enhance the lips so let me select the dodge tool increase the exposure to about 20 let's see if maybe it's too much well actually no and just uh, create a highlight on the lips like that and you can burn the lower part but using and you can burn the lower part So can give more volume to the lips, so to say. And let's name this group makeup. And inside of this group, I'll also create a group for the lips using the hue saturation. This uh, I just want to show you how you can change the color of the lips. So create a hue saturation adjustment and fill the layer mask with black and uh, increase the saturation and. Uh, use a random color here and now just uh, use the brush tool and paint with white to unmask to un to reveal the effect here only on the lips using a soft brush make sure the brush is set to 100% the opacity and the flow and maybe decrease the opacity a bit the saturation sorry and we will fix this I just wanna have a rough paint here Like that. Now fix the edges. So switch the color to black. Make sure you use a soft brush. I already said that. Okay, and now you can go back to the to zero and you can try blend modes uh, let's see with soft light reduce the reduce the saturation and uh, let me zoom out a bit to 100 percent you can play with the lightness if you want to have darker or lighter lips and of course you can change the color let's leave the the blend mode to normal for now but as I, as I said you can play with blend modes you can use the colorize option and just try the, some colors but I want to keep this fairly realistic so I'll use the same color I'll maybe shift it just a bit
I like the soft light, but you have you'll have to increase the lightness. Maybe reduce the saturation a bit. Let's leave it there and reduce the opacity of the layer to about 60%. Okay, so that's how, that's how you can change the color of the lips and you can also see that it increased the contrast because of the soft light blend mode. Okay, so let's move on. I'll make a, a more makeup tutorials, uh, specific tutorials about makeup, but for this image uh, I think it's enough. Uh, let me show you how I changed the color of the hair. Well, just slightly, but I changed it using a selective color adjustment. Uh, this is an adjustment I don't use too often, but um, I used the red channel. So I wanted to add more red on the on the red channel, so I added a negative value on cyan, which means uh, you will add red and more magenta and let's see more yellow that gives the hair a, a bit more saturation and makes it uh, look a, a bit more brown and you can also make it darker and of course we don't need this effect on the face but let's move on the yellows and we will mask the skin uh, after that so uh, the yellows don't really affect the hair too much so let's go on the blacks to see what we can do um, well I like this a lot better I want to add some magenta and maybe a bit more red and more yellow okay and now let's um, fill this layer mask with black and use a, the brush tool a soft brush to bring back the effect here but only on the on the hair That. You can also paint the paint on the on this white um, dress. It will not be visible uh, the effect because uh, this is white and we only affected the reds and the darks. So the dress of the woman is not affected by that change. Okay, so let's paint this part here as well. Okay, so that's how I changed the color on the hair. You can see that now it looks a lot more saturated and, and a lot better. And one thing I would like to have is more contrast on the face. Uh, this part is too bright. Maybe I'll use the burn tool. And let me see if that works. And change the exposure to about 5. Use a big soft brush and just burn this part of the face just a bit. And now, now it looks a bit better. Uh, we will use levels anyways. But the next thing I wanted to do is change the color of the entire image. And I used the color balance. And I have a specific values here. For the shadows I have minus 2, minus 6, so minus 2, minus 6, and minus 3. For the midtones I have minus 10, 10 and 10. These values only work for this uh, specific image so uh, and also depends on the kind of effect you want to have. I wanted to add more cyan and more blue so I used uh, these settings and for the highlights I have 13, 3 and minus 3 and this is the effect before and after so you can see it, add a bit, it adds a bit more cyan here on the on the shadows and on the midtones and on the face and here we have more highlights it, add a bit, it adds a bit more yellow and red and then I duplicated this adjustment layer and I set the blend mode to color and it adds even more effect you can see it adds more yellow on the face 
and after that I created a stamp pressing shift control alt and E before you make this stamp you have to make sure that everything that that you've done making all the adjustments all the cleaning because otherwise uh, if you make it if you make a change here it will not be visible because of this layers on top of them and the reason why I made this layer is because I wanted to use the liquify filter so go to filter liquify and what I wanted to do is uh, change the shape of the eye of the left eye so I'll just click and drag slightly because I want this one you see is more uh, wide and this one is more round so I wanted to do that but let me undo that because I don't want I don't like it and I'll use a smaller brush that and just click and drag and click OK that's the only thing I changed with the liquify tool and maybe I made it too wide but well anyway I'll leave it like that you can see it before and after it just makes it slightly wider and next I wanted to change the light of the of the of the image and I used the lighting effect filter but on a new layer so I created a new layer filled it with white set the blend mode to overlay and then I went to image adjust I mean to filter render um, lighting effects and I used uh, this settings here uh, for the value of, for the intensity I used 9 for the focus I used 10 you can see I have this um, shape uh, the light comes from here I created sort of a beam of light and click OK and now I just uh, reduce the opacity so you can see how the light changes all you have to do now is um, reduce the opacity a bit let's see at 60% um, I like how it looks mm. maybe even 50% so you can see that uh, now we shifted the light a bit and next you can use next I think I use levels uh, to reduce some of the contrast add more light on the midtones so 1.10 is okay 1.5 just adds a bit of light on the midtones and then a gradient map and I used uh, some dark colors I use a dark blue like this and for the highlights color like this and click OK and I set the blend mode of this to color and let's see an opacity of about 5% uh, maybe 10 so you can see it gives a more bluish uh, color let's leave it on 7% the opacity and then I painted more light effects on a new layer which I set to color dodge use a big soft brush and about that big maybe even bigger and what I wanted to do is create that light effect you see you see here on the hair this uh, the light uh, I guess there's a flash right there so I'll use a yellow color like that and let's see what we get it's too strong so with the with the color dodge blend mode you have to use really dark um, colors so something like that then a blue color on the other side here oh not too saturated let's try something uh, green it's too saturated I just want a, just a bit of color not too much that's okay and let's try with the color like this here on the top so you can see uh, some light that we added there and then you can create a new layer oops 
and then create uh, more light effects using the screen blend mode and now paint uh, another color like that one but I need a more saturated one okay that's better and then get that green color that we used on the left side okay like that so the blend, these two blend modes, the screen and the color dodge are really great for light effects then I also added one of my lens flares um, this time I used uh, one from the premium version which you can buy from my website but you can also use the free ones also from my website so I'll set the blend mode of this to screen and place it here and let me use hue saturation to see maybe if I change the color I can get something better okay something like that and then I also used uh, some fractals I have here on the light effects um, stock images folder and I think I used um, this one so this is a free fractal which you can download from internet I'll give you the link uh, to that set the blend mode to screen again and I just wanted to use uh, one of the lights here I let me shift this to see uh, which one I can use okay those ones and open the other one which is this one paste it here change the blend mode to screen again and I'll rotate it and place it there I want to have that light there and maybe change the color of it like that and then use the vibrance or hue saturation I'll use vibrance to pop up the colors a bit and that's how I made uh, this retouching uh, image let me show you the original so before and after so that's all for this uh, retouching tutorial I hope uh, you liked it uh, you can post your comments on YouTube or on my website and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel I will post more uh, retouching tutorials and manipulations and well that's all thanks for watching and see you next time